what's going on guys welcome back to the channel in another video today we're going to be doing something super simple but it's going to be amazing we're going to do a flip cup with these colors so i have a violet magenta this is a violet that i mixed with a little bit of white and then this is just titanium white with a little bit of pearl medium in it so it's a little bit metallic all the colors are mixed two parts pouring medium one part paint there is one drop of the coconut milk hair serum from ogx in all the colors so we're going to be just layering two different colors because this is a 12 by 12 canvas and these are small cups so let's get started i'm going to layer them completely different but i don't think it's going to matter too too much how's everybody doing today yes you carol i'm talking to you how are you doing today that's wonderful Hope everybody's having a great day. So we started off with white in this one, so we'll start off with a really dark color in the next one. There's not much oil in these. I don't want a massive amount of cells. I mean, I say that now, but then once it happens and I see it and I'll love it, and that'll be that. But make sure to keep adding that white because that white is really the only color that's going to be large contrast in here the rest are all going to dry a little bit darker but all right so we started with white last time let's start with this these really dark colors all right between that one and this one i'll put white Just rotating through. Oh, yeah. What would you like to see me do? Like a certain technique or a style of poor color combination. The only thing I probably wouldn't want to do was like something that. I've never done as far as, hey, can you mix motor oil with, you know, your acrylic paint and it creates cells? I mean, I do get questions kind of like that sometimes. And, and it's things like that I, I wouldn't find enjoyment in because, I don't know, it just seems silly. All right, let's flip these things. Ooh, we already got some cool looking cells going on in there. We got this cup. Oh yeah, that was a much less flip, but I did get a vacuum in there. All right, so what we're gonna do? I'm just gonna flip them both and let them spill out towards the center, so they can combine. Two different layering. So we can see if there's any kind of big difference. There probably won't be a huge difference, but you probably could tell. So I'm gonna apply some heat. Because we got some air bubbles from that rough flip. There they go. And then we're gonna make these cells explode. Oh wow. That's crazy. Look at all of them little guys. And they just keep coming more and more and more. I don't know what's going on, but the cells just keep coming, you guys. Ooh, that's pretty. All right, so what I need to do, I don't want all this gobbled up on the outside edge, so I need to put a little bit here on the outside. I gotta move quick because we're in Arizona. So surprising as it might sound, this paint will start to dry if it's too thin while I'm painting. So that kind of defeats the whole purpose of putting the paint on or to slide on if it dries. All right. You gotta make the sound effects or it doesn't work. Now we 
got this magenta. Go around the outside real good. That's cool because it gave it enough time to kind of for more cells to form but with that we're just going to give it a little spin before these start to dry out just a nice light spin nothing crazy and then we got our coverage dang that's really cool looking Jeez. pomegranate cells going on in there bunch of multicolored cells now see what I was talking about earlier, if I didn't add that white, it would just be all purples and dark colors, not much contrast at all. Now all the layers are thinned out even further, so just doing another light pass with the heat gun. If there's any more cells that kind of want to come to the surface, they will. You can see them already kind of blooming, cropping up everywhere. And then during the drying process, they'll continue to develop cells, and I can't wait to show you guys that during the dry reveal. But for now, we're going to do the wet reveal, and I want you guys to come down here, and we're going to check this thing out. <laughs> Look at this thing. Dang. I love this thing. Beautiful. Wow. I'm going to zoom out and show you. For a second this thing came out so nice really cool stuff tons and tons of cells it's beautiful If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.